if I had a voice or an instrument of some sort that I wanted to fatten up some kind of way, maybe the voice is a little weak or it's not as strong and you want to give it more body, more fullness, or an instrument that might want to do that, whatever. What it would be great to do is if I could have this fader with the voice on it and this other fader over here with the same voice on it. Then I could EQ this fader one way and pan it over a little bit to the left. EQ that one a little bit different. And now all of a sudden I'm getting a different texture. I'm, I'm able to affect the texture of the voice more. I've got more options. I could do it again maybe. Have three voices. That would be great. And then I could treat them all differently and do different things with it. I would want to be able to take that signal and duplicate it. One way I can do that is I can come over here to this and take this signal out and it'll still go to here. Let's say that this is a track out and this is console monitor in. Now I've got my a track out normal to the Console, so I can push the, let me hear the tape recorder button, and boom, now I'm listening to the tape recorder. Let's just say the voice is on this track. And I want to be able to take this and put it up here. I want to put it over here on input 10, whatever that is. So I could put a patch cable in here and put it over here. And now it's on my fader number 10, but it's also on fader number 1. Because it did not break the normal when I plugged in there, remember? As long as I plug in there... It will, it's an output, it doesn't break the normal, it still goes to here. So now I got two voices. Well, what if I wanted to have three? Well, I have to have done something different with my patch bay. I have to come down here to this little area of my patch bay, let's say, and I would like to hook all of them together in such a way so that if I put the voice in here, if I took this voice from here, okay, and I get a patch cable, and I come in, and I put it into there. You see that? I took the voice out. It's still going to there, right? Well, I took this voice, and I put it in here. Well, now it's here, here, and here. So I can get another patch cable, put it in another input, another one, another input, another into another input. Now I got five voices. You see that? Or four, whatever I got. Four, right? You, you see how I could do that? Okay, now... The way we wire these patch points are different than the way we wire this patch point. Because I'm just trying to duplicate the same signal on the other. I'm not trying to break a normal or not break a normal or anything. First of all, the grounds go to the ground. And then the neutral or the negative goes to the other negative. Disregards the normaling leaves totally. And the positive goes to the positive. And all we've done is just duplicate that signal over here on this patch point. And then you do it again on the one on the bottom, do it again on the other one. Now you've got four, it's called a mult. I've got a one in there with six, six-way mult. I can put it in, I can get five out. For whatever reason, you might want it. I certainly am not going to stop and solder the bay in the minute that I want to do that. I want to have it there for me to do it if I want, for whatever reason. So in the patch bay now, you can create different little mechanisms to do different jobs. Why I'm telling you you want to put an analog bay in if you still have analog equipment is there's so much more you can do with just the stuff that you already have. There's more facility and manipulative powers. And that's what you want. You want choices and options.